Hello everybody! I am back from work a little late. My roommates are all asleep so I'm gonna keep it a little down. But it is day one of week 10. We have reached the double digits. One zero. Today, I had a long day of work and you know what? I think I might have hurt the rib a little bit from yesterday. I don't know if it was just that light run or what, but it's feeling a little worse today. I did not do any exercise today, but did some stretching, felt really nice. I think I'm gonna roll out now and hoping tomorrow I'm feeling better again and we'll probably do a run or bike ride tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Day two of week 10. And it's kind of nice. The rib is actually recovering. Like yesterday, I thought I made it worse, but it feels better today than ever. So it's nice to see that it is definitely continuously in the recovery state. But damn, I was just thinking about it. It's been more than four weeks. What an injury. Never thought a muscle injury could be this bad. Definitely nice little plot twist to the Ironman journey, but I have good belief that buff a week from now I should be able to get into the water, get swimming. Leaves me a bit under six weeks to get the swimming ready, but not too horrible. Day two, here we go. All right, we are just trying to squeeze in our ride today in the middle of work. I am by no means in any sort of cycling clothing, but trying to keep active, keep the exercise going. Rib is feeling much better today. Decided I'd just uh, take uh, about 30 minutes off work here and go for a ride. So by no means comfortable, but you know what? It's still something. Off we go. All right, well, just finished a very light ride for about 30 minutes. It's going super slow, like 12 miles an hour. Honestly, didn't feel as nice as I thought it was gonna feel. The rib I could definitely feel when I was taking really big breaths. Gonna stretch tonight though. All right, today is Day three of week 10 and I'm biking home from work. It's kind of late, but didn't do any training today. Thought I'd take a rest day. Let the rib really finally recover. It is feeling better today, so great news. Good morning, everyone. Today with day four of week 10, we got ourselves this ointment on Amazon and I'm going to try it out because at this point, you know what? doesn't hurt because the rib has just been forever since it's gotten better. Penetrex. Let's see how it feels. Supposed to apply it up to four times a day. Just gonna rub it on the rib and see how we do. All right, just finished applying it and the rib feels better almost instantly. Seems a little ridiculous. Maybe it's from the rubbing action because I just warmed up the area. Totally possible, I'm not sure, but I'm kind of surprised. We're gonna try it three more times today and see how we're doing by the end of the day. Just finishing up my day of work and surprising news, I applied the ointment four times and it's it works pretty well. I feel like this is the most improvement I've seen in a day. Like throughout the day, it just kept getting better. I am very optimistic with this ointment. So today I'm gonna just completely chill tomorrow I am biking up to Point Reyes from San Francisco, about a 35 mile bike ride with Jesse Kyle and one more friend named Nick. I will be recording that and hopefully feeling great. Good morning everyone, today is day five and what is going on? I am surprised at how much the ointment helped or the cream. My rib is feeling significantly better this morning, like I got up and almost had no pain. I am so excited. I am going to Point Reyes this weekend. It's Friday right now, mid-afternoon. I got all three bikes packed and I'm taking them all on the train on my own. That's gonna be fun. And I am on my back here. So all this in the back is for the weekend. My sleeping gear. Got some extra clothes and that's about it there. It's gonna be fun to carry in the jersey and off we go, driving to the train station now. Here we are with yeah, Vlad. Here we are. And we're going to try to move three bikes into a train. So this, and this back tire is also popped. Yeah, so it's he's uh, he's going to have to basically carry so, three bikes all by himself yeah. onto the cow train. And his friends are going to be picking him up and the bikes up on the other side. Yeah. And I'm going to probably give him some minimal help. So, so I'm going to try to put the two, <laughs> the two inflated bikes together. 
<laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna hold this Wait, one of these bikes is really okay. This bike is really light. That's not I'm right? carrying it. No, no, wait. Just run your arm through this. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Maybe if you can put a towel or something here. Put two arms through. Yeah. That's and possible. Then, and then like hold the other two bikes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. Jesus Christ, how many bikes you got there, bud? Oh, this is gonna be... So I can get it on the train like this. Oh. So this is really hard. Yeah. I'm just gonna... Do you wanna help me? And then we'll just... <laughs> you, I'll, I'll get it onto the train. And then there I can disassemble. Okay, cool. All right. Right, so we are at the train stop now and we got three bikes here. And the plan is to do these two on the first entrance and then the third one will be this one. I'm gonna get in the train, put two in and then get the third one in after. All right, the train is coming. I have to try to get three bikes on. I think I'm just gonna do one at a time. And yeah, they hold the doors open until you get in, so it should be fine. I'll probably be recording once I'm in there. Oh, I've got them all out. I just, I have no idea how I'm gonna walk them all the way there because my friends weren't allowed to actually get on the platform. So this is gonna be an experience. I'm probably just gonna inch over like from one pole to the next there. Hey, we are at the Caltrain station with four bikers and we are here had so many problems the train stalled we are pretty short on time it's like 5 10 and it's sun sundown what's it called sunrise sun sundown sunset 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 is at 8 30. google says the bike ride should be three hours and 10 minutes it's 33 miles and I am freezing because I didn't bring a sweater. The journey is about to begin. We're all on the road and it is crowded. Oh my. This is my first time biking in San Francisco and it is gonna be awful. I feel like I'm gonna die. Like, you guys ready? Yes. We're about to go on the Golden Gate Bridge and it is windy. We are entering the bridge. And it's very windy. And it looks like it's gonna rain. We're about halfway across the bridge. It is really windy. And there's no protection on the side here, so. But luckily the wind is blowing into the bridge and not out, so I don't feel like I'm gonna flip. Here it is. All right, we made it across the bridge. Woo! God. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is. This is incredible. What a view. And it's not as windy anymore. Hello. Good morning. It's weak, uh, weak a lot. The sun is setting, the we're biking. Setting. Kyle has to poo. I gotta poo real bad. So he can't bike fast. My ribs starting to hurt. It's scary I'm... biking with one hand and holding this. I don't know how Vlad does it. So Vlad. There's a stop sign. This is a Vlad. Bye bye. All right, we have made it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. It turned out to be way harder than I thought. It took over three hours. <laughs> uh, I almost fell asleep midway through. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the size of this front yard. That is crazy. There's a soccer There's net. There's a soccer, soccer net. net. We can play soccer net. Wow. We can play soccer net. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are out here on day six of week 10, and we are cooking. Jesse's cooking for us. This house is quite amazing. Look at the size of his backyard. And yeah, we're gonna go tour some farms today and have some oyster, right? Yes. So not much training today, but we'll be biking home tomorrow. All right, we are somewhere in Point Reyes right now. And it smells a lot like fish. And we're about to get oysters down there. Yeah, these. Yeah. Do you like my parking job? Yes. Just incredible. Oh, we have finally like gotten our yeah. oysters, Arshin. So first of all, they really. Wow. Do you have any salt? All right, it is oyster time. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> my first ever oyster experience. First ever. Here we go. He's just starting. He's just starting to shock. Wow. 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 <laughs> 
that came <laughs> right off. You have to cut the. And now in the inside, we look in here and whoa, look at. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, That's so so you cool. gotta take it off. I don't know how to shuck the clam. I know it's harder. Is it harder? Yeah, my dad taught me a Nick, long time you. ago. But it's okay. way harder. There it's we go. Harder. Yeah. We, we got. And then. Them. All right. Oh, okay. Cheers. 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 All right, here we go. Suck her up. Mmm. That was Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> that's not good. Hey guys, cheers. 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 Clam cheers. 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 Wait, does mine All look right. weird? Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mmm. Something's really hard. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, so like all these are cows? Oh, all these are girls. Yeah. Come back, come back, Kirk. Curves around. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> He's a good boy. Oh, here we go. Aww. Aww. Hello. Hello. Oh, are you getting attention? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh, my gosh. This guy is a stroke boy. Stroke boy. Oh, okay. uh, uh, the other one wants attention. So, today, we are feasting like civilized human beings with some very fabulous looking oysters and clam. Alright, brothers and sisters. Cheers. 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 Cheers! Good morning everyone. Today is day seven of week ten. We are just finishing up the week. Good morning! Just who says good morning. And this morning we are eating a interesting contraption here. We got toast with peanut butter, some mozzarella cheese we found at a farm yesterday, an avocado and an apricot on top. Definitely a good blend of flavor out here. Not a bad, not a bad snack at all. So today we're biking back from Point Reyes, back to San Francisco. About 30 miles, should be a nice little bike ride. And the rib, feeling much better. We're about to start our journey on our way home to San Francisco or their home. Are you guys ready? Yes. We're ready. <laughs> this should be like four hours according to Google Maps. It's 2.30 right now. <laughs> Here we go. We have made it like 17 miles and wow. Okay, and we are we're doing well. We're all doing pretty well. This is a good speed. We've been going at like 16 miles an hour, maybe 15. We just stopped by for some cherries. It's been a fun ride this time. I'm feeling a lot better than the way up. Footage from the front here. Oh, I'm actually aimed at you. Oh, yeah, it is. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Ah, Kill you passed me. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh. Ah. Okay, my legs are. <laughs> you win. <laughs> All right, we have just finished the ride, and according to Strava, it was 32.44 miles, setting a new record. Wait, that's the wrong ride. So the one, 40, 40.71 miles, at a lovely rate of 12.7 miles an hour. Oh, we went down. And uh, <laughs> we went took down. us three hours and 12 minutes to finish it. Pretty horrible, but you know what? 40 miles, that's two thirds of the half Ironman distance. So, you know, not horrible, but we're pretty tired out here. And it's a wrap. Week 10 is finished. That's crazy. That means six weeks left. And I still have not swam since week five. Oh boy, I am worried. I do not know how I feel about this. The rib is certainly improving and I'm really trying not to push it, but I don't know what to do. This new ointment is kind of helping, but I mean, I don't know how fast or how long it's still going to take to fully recover. So currently, currently Jesse and Kyle and I have actually registered for a half Olympic triathlon, which is pretty short. It's only got a 500 meter swim on these these 
um, this coming week, which is basically going to be week 11, day 7. So I got 7 days till that triathlon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I am going to try swimming tomorrow. And I'm just going to see how it feels. And if it's not feeling good, I'm going to stop right away. I'm not going to push myself at all. I do not, or I literally cannot afford to hurt myself any more or any worse than it is right now. So I'm going to try swim tomorrow and we're going to see how it goes. And hopefully it just feels nice out of nowhere and it does not hurt my rib. That would be great. I'm really hoping that's the case. We're going to find out tomorrow, but week 10, that's a wrap.